In this video, I'm going to show you that feminism, Satanism, and materialism are interconnected. First of all, if you go to churchofsatan.com, Satanic Feminism, in an essay by Magistra Blanche Barton, in Christ Wire, it says a feminist is the type of female atheist who worships human women. Um, feminist is evil, Jesus is Savior.com. A biblical response to the feminist agenda, uh, albatrust.org. Satanic feminism, Lucifer is the liberator of women uh, in 19th century culture, academia.edu, and so on. There's many um, hits. Um, and I'm about to watch a another YouTube video about feminism, satanic agenda, part one. I might have seen it before, but it's good to go over these things sometimes. So, Opposition View is going to say that all this proves that there, is that there are other people who think like you. Now, you got to realize, in a, a country where, you know, first of all, there, there are billions of Christians in the world. There are some 2.4, 2.6 billion Christians in the world. So, what defines Satanism? Um, if not Christianity and so what you're gonna see is that Satanists are trying to define themselves that way because they want to mock Christianity so you have some Satanists that there are more traditional Satanists that predate Christianity then you have some Satanists who purposely um, define themselves and try to emulate the characteristics of Satan in the Bible so feminism, Satanism, and materialism is why I constantly go on and on about women. Because part of, part of my problem here is that I would have had a much more efficient um, war with the enemy before I was struck down. If, not, if uh, it wasn't for the cowardly bud lines that women have brought into this world. They chose the man, they chose the baby, they raised the child to be a man. Excuse me, when I say chose the baby, they chose to have the baby. So, this problem that I'm having is a problem I don't want future revolutionaries to have. I want women to choose spiritual men, men who are willing to die for principle, men who are willing to fight for God, men who are will stop at nothing to stop the Satanists from doing what they're doing. So I hope you understand why this was needed, you know. Again, it has nothing to do with getting pussy. Um, it barely has anything to do with me not having love in my life. And it, and it goes back to the deeper reasons as to why that is. And you know, I many people can say, well, it's because this guy sees himself as better than most women and women rejected him. Well, there's some truth in that. I do see myself as better than pretty much every woman out there as far as spiritually you know now women are going to constantly bring it back to normal and say things that are weird and these are phrases that they'll use against people who are trying to do the right thing they'll say well you know they want someone who has money you know who's not a scrub who doesn't live with their parents who's not a man child you know these are normal um, claims and normal desires from women and so, the same reason why I'm not going to address this, I have money, it's not, it's not a problem, I can move out, you know, but I'm not going to sink down the level to explore how much money I have, to, you know, compare myself to other men, and the average man, and the average man with a good looking woman, what, what have you. Because, for the same reason, if women look for somebody's rank in the Church of Satan, I'm not going to say, well, I'm familiar with Satanism. You should choose me because I understand it. I have wisdom in, in, in Satanism. I, I know a lot about it. So you should, you know, date me. I'm not going to stoop to the level of arguing whether or not, from an inferior mind's point of view, I am worthy of them. I am rather going to argue from a superior mind's point of view and from God's point of view, if you will, from what the point of view he's given us, as to what to look for in a man, whether or not I'm worthy, and whether or not women are unworthy as far as what they seek compared to what they should seek, and the results of their lack of judgment and foresight. We all suffer from women's lack of foresight, so this is why I go down. You know, 
Now, it's true that, there, you know, if you look at the right and left, the right is a bunch of in-the-closet homosexuals on the highest level specifically. The average Republican is not a homosexual, but on the highest level, the secret society groups such as the Bohemian Grove and the Freemasons on the higher levels, the people who worship the Baphomet and they worship female deities and they take on male and female roles and they have plays where men play women's parts in their all-male fraternity. You know, of course, of course they're homosexuals. That, that's, that's a given. It's like saying, are they in a secret society? You know, of course they're in a secret society. That, that, you know, of course they're homosexuals. You know, so with that being said, if you look at what kind of men are to blame for the problems in the world, these are effeminate men. They might try to put on a masculine act because they're actors you know they grew up actors they grew up watching plays they're heavily inv heavily involved in hollywood you know they, they might put on an act that they're masculine but they are extremely effeminate they are feminized they are womanly they are girly they are pansies they're pussies that's where the phrase pussy comes from a bunch of secret society pussies where everyone has to hold in their hatred for so they're a bunch of pussies they're a bunch of sissies sisters sissies what have you so, with that being said, the problem in this world comes from a bunch of, the main problem in this world comes from a bunch of effeminate men, uh, men and a bunch of women. You know, a bunch of females. I don't think I should really call them women. That's why I go on and on about them, you know. It's, it's, it's well known that Satanism and, and, and feminism is interconnected. It's very well, thoroughly connected. It's well defined within the feminist movement. The idea of worshipping the woman you know, instead of worship God and look to, to God for direction, their message is look to women for uh, direction. Now tell me that isn't their message. Tell me they're not a bunch of Wiccans, witchcraft, bitches, f um, um, uh, Satanists, and fucking women who wish to feminize the church, have female preachers, female priests, they want a female pope, if they're even Christian. If they, they say, oh, I'm a Christian and I'm not going to leave this, they want to feminize their religion. It goes back to the worship of women. They hold women in high regard. They don't hold men in high regard. They don't hold Jesus in high regard. Some of them will even argue that Jesus was a woman. And if you don't, Google it. You think that claim is never made? Google it. They argue that God is a woman. And that Jesus, well, some of them, and, and Jesus might have been a woman. People don't tr truly understand what is going on here. The worship of a human being is Satanism. That's where Satan entered the church. That's where Islam is trying to correct this error. Is as soon as you say a man is God, that is Satanism. As soon as, as that's what Satan did, he said, I am God. I am above God. I exalted himself higher than God by saying that he's the true God. And when you say that a man is God, it's the same thing. You've, you've, you've raised him to the level of God or above. Because to say he is God, then whoever is God, the real God, is now lowered because that is God, not this God. Satanism. To understand the aspects of Satan, he's a homosexual, he's a killer, a thief, a rapist, what have you. Now remember, going back to that video where I said that what is fair and what is right, I've never advocated rape, you know, in my videos for at least the last couple of years. There was a time where I got mad and I said, go out and rape a bunch of feminists because I was extremely pissed and fed up and I wanted to, I wanted them to suffer. And I don't really make any apologies. I, I was, yeah, I was a little bit wrong to say that, but not really. They're a bunch of Satanist scum, and whatever happens to them, and whatever lessons they're taught, however harshly they're taught that lesson, I really got no problem with it. It's fair to punish them in that way. It's not right. Now, now I'm, I think you're starting to see why I had to punish women, why I had to go after them. We have to truly put them in their place. Now, to me, you know, just like everyone else, I'm taught that wanting to put a woman in their place is some misogynist, male chauvinist pig activity. But everyone should want everyone to be in their place, you know? Some people aren't in the right place. They're living a lowly life, such as myself, and they should take their rightful place in the world. And some people are put in a place they don't belong. You know, would you have someone who doesn't know how to fly a plane, um, flying as your, as your pilot? Wouldn't you want to put him in his fucking place? Hey, go back to your fucking seat and stop playing pilot, you pussy. You know? Let, let someone who knows how to fly fly it. 
You see what I'm saying? I think mean, it's, it's very harmful not to put people in their place. If you truly think about it, would you want someone who doesn't know what they're doing to be your fucking heart surgeon? Go, go outside and fucking do what you do and let a real doctor do what they're, they're supposed to do. That's their place. That's not your place. So yes, put them in their fucking place before society goes to hell. Excuse me for telling you what you should know and what needs to be said. I'm so fucking sick of a bunch of bootlicking scum who act like I'm the bad guy. You know, that's why I had to make, the, I have to make the, all these videos to, to show you that, oh, I'm not the bad guy. Something you should know. You all should have the discretion, the discernment, the understanding, overstanding, analytical skills, the ability to deduce, reason, extrapolate, calculate, and figure out that I am the fucking good guy here. But I have to explain it to you. Why am I going on and on about women? You know, people people bring that up. See, you know, it looks it's pathetic to see a grown man going on and on about women. Oh, really? You know, I'm not supposed to say what needs to be said. Just like gays make the argument, oh, well, it's you know, you must be a homophobic to tell the truth about homosexuals and their agenda. Just look at the Bohemian Grove. Just look up gays in masonry, gays in Hollywood, gays in the Bohemian Grove. Let I me mean, just type in the UK and homosexuality. Type in England and homosexuality. Everyone knows the British are a bunch of queers. You know? Not all of them, but you know what I'm saying. I think it's very sad that I have to explain this. It's very sad. As I said before, it's, it's fucking tragic. It's a great tragedy. It's a grave injustice for me personally to have to explain this, but it, it needs to be said. You are gonna get countless whining females saying, well, he said this and this and this, you know. One thing you'll never hear them say is what I've said many times in my videos, that women's role is important, okay? It's very important, stick to your role, do what you do and do it well. So if, next time somebody's trying to have a revolution and save the fucking world, he's not gonna have a problem assembling a strike team because if I try to assemble a strike team, what am I going to get? A bunch of feds, a bunch of informants, a bunch of traitors. They're going to set me up. The time When it's time to strike, I will be fucking thrown in a nut house for 40 years or something instead of accomplishing my mission. So I'm forced to do things a different way. And I'm not saying whether it's violent or not, but it cer certainly won't be as successful as it could have been. It certainly won't be as efficient it certainly won't be the blow that I should be delivering to these scumbags. Why? Because the bloodlines of the people we have today are that of a bunch of bootlicking fucking cowards. Cowards. That's what they are. We almost all know what must be done. And then it comes down to basically me and maybe a few other righteous people spread out you know, where we can't really find each other because there's so many cowards everywhere. It's like finding a needle in a haystack without a powerful magnet. Bootlickers, cowards. Women are to blame and effeminate men. I don't think it's a coincidence that witches are females. I don't think it's a coincidence that Lilith was a female. And I don't think it's a coincidence that a bunch of gays are at the heart of this conspiracy and the top of it. That's far too much of a coincidence. To allow women to follow their whims for an arbitrary, random, nonsensical fucking reason is destructive. And Satan is the great destroyer. So ask me, ask me, why do I go on and on about women? Because I thoroughly cover the problem. And the problem isn't my love life. The problem isn't fucking some whining little baby girl. The problem is females, 18 and up especially, who are a bunch of materialistic, Satan and Satanist following, feminist traitors to mankind. That is the problem here. I had to tell you what the problem is and I shouldn't have had to we should all be playing our part to put women in their place and give credit where it's due 
instead of denying great men such as myself their credit and giving women and their inferior judgments leadership positions. 